Hey everybody, so I'm coming to you right now from the Aldo Leopold Center, just a little bit south of Wisconsin Dells, right near the Wisconsin River. Now, Aldo Leopold is one of the top names in wildlife conservation because he's one of the people who was involved early to help us understand what the relationship is between humans as well as the ecosystem. So as I'm walking along this trail, you can see that it is a beautifully green place. But that wasn't the case in 1935. In 1935, Aldo Leopold came right to this area looking for a hunting cabin that he and his family could use an escape from Madison. However, what he didn't find here was this level of greenness. Instead, he found some really just decimated farms, just sand everywhere. Now, nobody would have blamed Aldo Leopold if he had just kept on going and found another spot. But he and his family decided instead to do an experiment that would last them the rest of their lives, to go ahead and rehabilitate this, this worn out land and make it a beautiful spot. The same type of conservation things he was practicing in his job, he wanted to have that in his private life as well. So what you see behind me right now is known as the shack. When Aldo Leopold came here, this started out as a chicken coop. His family worked on it, built it up, and this was basically their base camp that they came to get away from the busyness of everyday life. So Aldo Leopold's approach to keeping himself grounded was to be able to come to a simple place, work in nature, and then think deeply about what he observed. To our benefit, what he did was share those observations and help us understand what he saw through his writings. His most famous work, The Sand County Almanac, is based in part on his and his family's experiences here at the shack. Now, one of my favorite entries from Sand County Almanac takes place in February. Outside, there is a howling blizzard going on. It, the winds are shaking the shack. And on the other side of those boards, all Aldo Leopold has to keep himself warm is a fire. But here's what he wrote about it. After sharing a history of the oak wood that was then burning on his fire, he concluded, The oak lived to garner 80 years of June sun. It is this sunlight that is now being released through the intervention of my axe and saw to warm my shack and my spirit through 80 gusts of blizzard. And with each gust, a wisp of smoke from my chimney bears witness to whomsoever it may concern that the sun did not shine in vain. So one of the things I love most about Sand County Almanac is that even though Aldo Leopold cared deeply about conservation, his approach wasn't to yell at us. Instead, it was to help us see through his eyes, help us see what there is to love, and by so doing, it helps us to be able to understand why nature and that balance is worth preserving. So for today's challenge, share with somebody in your class what are some of your favorite places outdoors and why you love it? Maybe that's hunting and fishing, like Otto Leopold did. Maybe that's going on a hike, like something I love to do. Maybe just playing in your backyard. Whatever it is, what's some of your favorite places outdoors and why do you love it? Share that out, and then just in our own way, we can make our own space to get that balance in our lives too. All right, you take care.